controversy tonight over a proposed superstore in Peekskill. The Target store got the green light from the council members a year ago, but plans have been stalled ever since. Now it's becoming an issue in the November election, with one local group taking a stand today. As News 12's John Goff reports, they gathered outside their proposed site near the intersection of Lower South Street and Louisa Street, calling on voters to reject one political party across the board. The news conference by the group Peekskill First was held at the site where a Target store may someday be built. The Republican-controlled Common Council approved the location in October 2006, but so far nothing has materialized. The members of Peekskill First build themselves as being Democrats, Libertarians, and Independent voters. But the news conference was not directly about Target. The group announced their support for the entire Peekskill Republican ticket come November. The reason I'm a part of Peak Skill First, and I think the reason we're here, is our party's been unresponsive to us. The members of Peak Skill First insist they are working independently and are not a front for the Republican Party. But Peak Skill Democrats are not buying that. Look, if they chose one particular Republican that they thought embraced maybe some more open ideas, maybe they would have some credibility. Councilman Don Bennett was the lone Democrat to vote for the target proposal in 2006. He contends Peak School First has its facts wrong. I did vote for it, but the other realistic thing is how can two people or even three people stop a project when you have a seven-member board? Tony Seidemann is a private contractor who works as the city's public information officer. He and his wife Celine are active in Peak School First. But Seidman claims his role is strictly as a private citizen. I think what's important about this group is it's not about party, it's about accomplishment. How can we get the job done so we can make a better life for everyone in Peekskill? Seidman and the other members of Peekskill First tell us in future elections they may find themselves backing Democrats. But in 2007, they're strictly for the GOP. In Peekskill, John Goff, News 12, Westchester. And News 12 attempted to contact Republican mayoral candidate Bill Schmidt and Democratic mayoral candidate Mary Foster, but neither returned our calls.